Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you could strum through a song called Is This Love by Whitesnake. And we're going to start off on an E minor chord, and we play E minor. First finger goes to the A string on the second fret, second finger on the D string on the second fret, and if you strum all those together, that sounds like E minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And then from the E minor, we're going to go into a B minor chord, and we'll talk about an easy way to do that. But if you know the bar F and B minor, you can do your first finger across the entire second fret. Second finger on the B string, third fret. Third finger on the D string, fourth fret. And the pinky on the G string, fourth fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a B minor and it sounds really, really sad. Now if you're just starting out, a good substitute for that would be a B minor seven, where you do the first finger on the A string, second fret. Second finger on the G string, second fret. And the third finger on the high E string on the second fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a B minor seven chord. So think about that if you don't like the bar chords. And then from the B minor, we're going to go to a C major chord. You play C major. First finger goes to the B string on the first fret. Second finger on the D string, second fret. And third finger on the A string on the third fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord. And it sounds really, really sad. Or it's happy. Um, so through our, our intro and our verses, we got kind of E minor, B minor, C, E minor, B minor, C, E minor. B minor, C, and there's this really cool bass punch where you kind of go third on the A, second on the A, open A, and then third on the low E string, and then first fret on the low E string. So you kind of hear that C, B, A, G, F kind of come in in the bass part. And in the melody part, you'll kind of hear that doubled. You'd start first fret on the B string, open B, second on the G string, open G, another open G, and then second on the G, Third fret on the D string. And you could almost kind of put those together, that three and one together, two and open, open two, three and open, and then first fret on the low E string with the open G, and then throw in that second on the G, third fret on the D. So C, B, A, G, G, A, F, kind of working those together. So you might want to kind of think about that for those punches. Now, if you wanted to back up that lick with just chords, you'd start on the C major chord, but then we go to kind of a G major chord, and we play G major. First finger goes to the A string on the second fret, second finger on the low E string, third fret, and the third finger on the high E string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord, and on that particular change, actually, you kind of hear where the A string on the second fret kind of comes out on that G chord. It's called G slash B, or G major chord with a B in the bass. So you're going C, G slash B, and then we go to an A minor chord. Let me play A minor. First finger goes to the B string, first fret. Second finger on the D string, second fret. And third finger on the G string, second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like A minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And then from the A minor, we go back to our G major chord. And at the very end, you want to do an F major. There's a couple ways you could do this. If you know the bar F major, you do your first finger across the entire first fret, second finger on the G string, second fret, third finger on the A string, third fret, and the pinky on the D string, third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an F major bar chord. It sounds really, really happy. Now, a good substitute for that is something called F major seven. Let me play F major seven. First finger is the B string, first fret, second finger on the G string, second fret, and the third finger on the D string, third fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds an F major 7 chord. So on that punch at the very end, you might want to do C, G, A minor, G, F. And you might want to kind of throw in that kind of lick at the very, very end. So that could be a kind of a cool way to do it. Now, a lot of times with a song like this, though, to support my voice, I like using something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the E minor and just tried that a lot. You'd have down, down, up, up, down. Now the weird part is when we get to the B minor C change, it sounds almost like we do a down, down on the B minor, and then the up, up, down of that strum pattern on the C. So you have B minor with the down, down C on the up, up, down, up through that part. So we tried our, our, our intro with, with our, our strum pattern. We have E minor, down, up, up, down, up, B minor, down, C on the up, up, down, E minor, down. From there, then we'd be going 
into our verse part, which is exactly that same progression. Now, one other thing I think about adding to the song, though, is bass notes. And a lot of times on that first down, of the down, down, up, up, down, up, you can throw in a bass for the chord. So on your E minor, you'd have the low E string for your bass. On the B minor, you'd have the A string for your bass. And on the C, you'd have the A string for the bass. On the G slash B, you'd have the A for the bass. On the A minor, you'd have the A string for the bass. And on your F major bar, you'd have the low E string for the bass. On the F major 7, you'd have the D string for the bass. We're going to use basses for that. So we tried our verse and kind of added in bass notes. We'd have E minor with low E bass, down, up. Up, down, B minor with an A bass, down, C on the up, up, down, B minor with an A bass, down, up, up, down, B minor with an A bass, down, C on the up, up, down, B minor with an A bass, down, up, up, down, B minor with an A bass, down, C on the up, up, down, up, C, G slash B, A minor, G, F. And then we'd be repeating that for our next verse. We'd have our E minor, down, up. From there, then we go into our chorus part, and our chorus starts on C major, and then we go to a D major chord, and we play D major. First finger goes the G on the second fret, second finger on the high E string on the second fret, and third finger on the B string third fret, and if you show them the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D major chord, that sounds really, really happy. And randomly, I'm kind of following the keyboard part for that particular chord change. The bass actually stays on C, and if you want to follow the bass, you can play a C instead of D. Um, but then from the D we go to B minor, and then we have another cool little punch where you play three on the A string, two on the A string, and then open A, and then third foot on the low E string. So it's kind of like the, the almost like our verse tag. So now we could do the C, G slash B, A minor, G, and then we go right back to C again, and then our D major chord, and then our B minor, and then we got that same push again, that C, G slash B, A minor, G, but then we go to F, and so we try our chorus with our strum pattern. We have C, down, up, up, down, up, D, down, up, up, down, B minor, down, down, up, up, down, up, C, G slash B, A minor, G, C, down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, B minor, down, down, up, up, down, up, C, G slash B, A minor, G, F, Q, 3. Now another strum pattern that I would think about using through the song that was something called a six note strum pattern and this can be a little bit challenging but very cool and what a 16th note is is if you're tapping your foot to the beat right now we're kind of dividing that beat into two parts with our down down up up down up one two one two that's called an eighth note what a 16th note is is where we divide that into four parts one two three four one two three four and one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns is long down 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 up up down 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 up. what I mean by that is if you take the E minor and do it down for four Then on the second beat, you're doing a down on one, down on three, up on four. So you're going one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up. And then on the third beat, you're doing an up on two, down on three. So you're going one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down. And then on the last beat, you're going down, up, down, up, right along with the one, two, three, four. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So all together, you got down. do kind of the E minor with the whole strum pattern. And then we can take the B minor with kind of a down, 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 and then we can hit the C with the up, up, down, down, up, down. So you got E minor, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, B minor, down, down, C on the up, up, down, down, up, down, up, B minor, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, B minor, down, down, C on the up, down, down, up, down, B minor, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, B minor, punch at the end of C, D, A minor, G, F. And sometimes you'll kind of hear where that F gets extended, or you can kind of hear these hits on the F, so you want to kind of listen to the recording for that. And then from there, there, then we'd be going into our next chorus, which are our chorus with our 16th. C,
from there, and then we go into a solo part that's just like a kind of an extended verse part. And if you wanted to, with the 16th note pattern, you could throw in basses for that too, and you could work it as kind of a bass. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, bass. Down, down, up, up, bass, down, up, down. There'd be cool ways to work that. So we tried that idea through it. The weird part is that B minor C, and you could work that as kind of a bass. Down, down, C on the up, up, bass, down, up, down. with the bass 16th, we have C. of how you get strung through Is This Love by Whitesnake. So good luck.